What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a statement piece necklace and earrings. You can get these on Amazon and I will try and link them for you. But actually my friend Dulce from Dulce's Creations YouTube channel, check her out, her link's in the description. She is an amazing artist. Sent me these to see if there's anything I could do with them and I just thought, yeah, I love making jewellery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them into a statement piece. I'm just going to seal these now with the same colours that I'm going to be using. These aren't going to be transparent colours I'm going to be putting on here, although that would look beautiful as well. I will be using mica powder and probably a little bit of glitter as well in them, because of course, why wouldn't I? But the reason I'm painting these is I don't want any bubbles. This is, this is raw wood. I don't want any bubbles coming up from this while it's curing. And I find that by painting them with acrylic paint, that prevents that from happening. These have dried now and they're really dried quite well. I've painted all the edges and I've painted both sides. So now all I need to do is dome them. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be putting some mica powder in and I've let this resin get quite thick as well. And I'm also going to be putting in some glitter because I do like glitter. Don't forget, if you like my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I've got quite a lot of members now and they really are helping me keep this channel going. And check out the buy me a coffee link that is available or in the description below. It really do help me to continue to keep making these videos, getting the bits together. So when I'm doming, I'm putting a bit in the middle and then I just let it find its own edge. And the reason I do use a pipette rather than I try to pour it is because I do have a bit of a tremor. And if I pour it, I always seem to make a mess. It runs over the edges and I put too much on. And this way I can add as much as I want and as little as I want when I need to. I will then take one of these little micro brushes, either a micro brush or a toothpick. I will gently move the resin to the edge and the surface tension will just keep that resin in place. It's nice and thick and it won't move off or flow over. I'll let this cure up and then I will be able to show you how to put this piece together and make some real nice statement jewellery with it. I'm now going to join these together and I'm going to join these together using wire that I've twisted and made into connectors. And how I do that is I wrap a piece of wire like this, bend it in half, stick it in my Dremel and this end like that. And then I pop a bit of doweling like so. And then I have my Dremel set on the slowest speed. And then I allow that to twist until I think that's right. And that's about right for me there. And look how quickly that does that. It's, it does it really quickly. Then I'll measure it up against my other piece like this. Because obviously I don't want to have too long a bit. That bit I will just keep and use for something else. And you can make us really quite long bits on this. You don't have to do it all like this. You can make quite long bits. But I use this quite a lot. I then pop that back on there, keeping them as close together as I can, like so. And then I'll turn it on again in my slowest speed. You don't want a too fast a speed because if you have too fast a speed, then you, it goes too quickly. I can cut it off there. And those bits will come off and then just release it from the chuck of the Dremel. I over twisted this one a little bit. That's what I mean. You need to just be careful. As you can see, there's a bit there that is over twisted, but the rest of it is OK. So I will be able to use that. And those two bits will be enough to continue with that. So I know that this is how I actually want to have the statement necklace put together and so what i will be using is i will be using these pieces of wire like this through it now i want to make sure that these are all ver roughly the same distance apart now you can use a hand drill like this 
to drill the little holes in. I've drilled all my holes now and I know how deep each one of the holes has gone because I actually put a bit of tape on my drill bit to ensure that I did all the holes at the same depth. So then I can easily put my bits of wire in there up to that depth, know how far I want them to show and then pop that on there like that to know how far it's gonna go in the other end. So it's gonna go there and that is the length of the wire that I'm going to need. So we can just double check that by popping that in there like that and in there like that and I am really pleased with that. And then what I will use to glue these in with is some five minute epoxy because I like five minute epoxy. So what I'll do is I will get my piece of wire in there like so. I will dip it in its end like that and then I will push that into there like that. I shall take the second one and do that. I always push it in and then lift it out so I can get a bit more epoxy all the way through it. And if you've got bits around it that you think, actually, what the, I don't want that there, you can just use a little bit of baby wipe to any overspill you can remove. But five minute epoxy does dry completely clear. All I have to do is double dip those ends and pop them into this one. And I'll just do the same again for this one. I won't do anything with that now until I'm 100% confident that that is all cured up. And then once that's cured up in about five minutes, 10 minutes maybe, then I will start putting the rest of them on. Because these are gonna be a little bit more complicated because they're gonna need to go from there to there and there to there. So this is cured up enough now so I can put these other bits in. And so I know where to drill the holes and then where to put them afterwards. I've put them out again by eye roughly where I want them. And then what I'm using is I'm using a white Posca pen because that will wipe off with just a little bit of water. And I'm just marking on these where I want the holes drilled. And then I, all I have to do is line them up when I'm coming to put them together. And then the same across here. I finished this now. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. I think that has made a great statement piece. I absolutely love it. And I think it works both sides as well. I also finished off the earrings. I put some posts on the back as well and they will just sit in your ears like so. And these posts are very easy to put in. I just use the five minute epoxy again to put those in. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're already not subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos. And please check out the video that's coming up next.